Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review The Quarry, which as of this recording uh, is scheduled to open April 17th, 2020, courtesy of Lionsgate. Uh, it's the sophomore feature of Scott Teams, who previously directed the 2009 film That Evening Sun, starring uh, Hal Holbrook. Uh, and he was supposed to return to the South by Southwest Film Festival in 2020, uh, which of course was cancelled uh, due to the coronavirus. Uh, so this is based on a 1995 novel by Damon Galgut. Um, and Mr. Teams and Andrew Brotsman have uh, moved its original setting from post-apartheid South Africa to rural Texas uh, to tell the tale of a man who murders a priest and then uh, takes his uh, new post at a church that's reopening in a small Texas town and pretends to be him uh, and then kind of rejuvenates the uh, Mexican and Mexican-American community there. Um, so Shea Wiggum stars as the man who becomes David Martin. He kills uh, Bruno Bashir, who's the brother of Damien Bashir, uh, and then kind of arouses the suspicions of the local sheriff, played by Michael Shannon, um, who is kind of seeing uh, a character played by Catalina Sandino Moreno. Uh, Shea Wiggum's truck is, uh, he's robbed and uh, Michael Shannon investigates and uh, finds the two young men that do, uh, boy and his older brother that do it. Um, there are items in the car including drugs and bloody clothing from the murder that end up uh, making them be held accountable for the murder once the corpse is discovered. Uh, and because uh, Shea Wiggum's character won't uh, confess to the sins, one of them might be executed and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, unfortunately, this film, uh, The Quarry, feels incredibly uh, dry, uh, and also for a film that's trying to shine a light on uh, kind of immigration issues uh, in the United States, whether or not uh, contemporary or period. Uh, it's also very unclear whether this is set uh, in modern day. Uh, th th all of those characters are written as uh, very one-dimensional, with lots of communication issues, uh, people speaking uh, that seem to have a clear uh, gra grasp on English and Spanish and yet aren't uh, telling the right people uh, the right kinds of information uh, to get them out of sticky situations. Um, we've seen this kind of scenario before where people pose as priests. Corpus Christi from Poland this year is a dr or last year was a drama that uh, kind of navigates similar territory there. Um, and plus plenty of comedies from We're No Angels or even Sister Act, you could kind of uh, lump into that. But there, it, it, it never takes off the... It, the quarry never kind of takes off in any kind of way. It's not a thriller, it's not very dramatic, and we don't end up really feeling anything for anybody involved in it. Uh, that said, Shea Wiggum and uh, Michael Shannon do give uh, great performances with kind of limited material, uh, while Catalina Sandino Moreno is completely wasted uh, in a supporting role. Uh, overall, I would give this one out of five stars. Hey, this is Eric from IonCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.